Hi everyone, my name is Michael. Today I would like to demonstrate how to set up Chase in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. I did similar video a month ago, possibly two, um, using the improvised mean of doing that. It was very crude and it wasn't um, not very polished. So with the latest update of Foundry system or for Call of Cthulhu, there is uh, features implemented uh, for setting up chases, uh, which which is very good and very automated. So I tested it out, and um, I'll surely be using that if I next time uh, I need to use for chases in my game. Uh, first of all, to be able to do that, users need to update to uh, Foundry Call of Cthulhu 7 edition uh, 0.0.8.1. And I'm using this on the um, virtual version 9. And um, in terms of once you update that, uh, there will be a tutorial page on uh, as a journal entry. If you close that uh, journal, you can find that in the compendium and their system manual. And this is about chases. Uh, to set up chase, we need to create an item and uh, I am no by, no by means uh, expert on that and uh, I only ran um, only two chases actually in the last two years so uh, I need to be constantly rereading re the, the book so to do that uh, firstly we were creating an item so going into the item directory uh, create an item of chase type and then I will call that chase 101. All right. So uh, when we do that, we need to first do the participants list. So I use I will use the same actor I used the last time. It will be indie uh, first speed cop and second speed cop. So if I drag that on, you can see that. This is the initiative. We will use dexterity uh, and we con constitution. And then there is movement. I think they are given just for to change things on the fly. But um, for the moment, I don't really need to. I'm happy with the base, what it is there. All right. So uh, after we add that, we need to assign who is chasing who. So in this instance, Indy is running and two police officers are chasing so if we left click on the uh, this icon it will change into a chaser so after we add um, the participant we have to uh, do the speed check which is essentially constitution check all right so if i click that i click that and i click that all right and uh, they are on the system now, so I have to do click roll. Uh, you can see that there is a um, regular success. No, actually that's a hard success. And the um, police officer fail and they fail. Second beat called fail as well. So you can see that the system automatically reduced their movement speed um, for the purpose of chasing setup. All right, we did that this bit. Um, to be able to do that, I'm going to reuse the the same page I did. Sorry about some background noise. Uh, my next door neighbor is playing uh, some sort of drum. Uh, I will start with the chase location zero, and um, I think we have to click the both fastest and slow one. Uh, there is no vehicle chase setup things yet. So if we initialize that, why it is not? All right, so require a few click. That's something to do with my mouse. So the uh, Indy has the reason for two step ahead is I think it is because of the extra movement speed. And if I click um, cut to the chase that will start chase 
um, Indy usually has to do because in the um, Call of Cthulhu, dexterity scores is used to uh, tell the initiative order, so 70, 60, and 50, so he has to move first. And um, here you can add barrier and hazards. Uh, these are called location nodes. And uh, in terms of if I read, read through the Keeper rulebook, action in the chase round. So what you can do, you can move forward, you can initiate one attack, you can cast a spell, you can do other uh, actions that your keeper will allow you to do. Uh, you can also uh, push rolls are not used in the chase. However, you can push, uh, you can spend luck. That's the thing. Now, moving part is that uh, we have to calculate that. So, Indy's turn. What does Indy do? You can either go back, move forward, or take cautious approach. Um, all right, now let's say move forward. Uh, and then Indy will move forward. That's his turn. And then the next person's turn is going back to the uh, second beat cop. So I think they, um, if I change that, that became an active actor. If I change that, it will become an active actor. So there are a few options. Um, I personally don't know that enough uh, or use frequent enough to know uh, to share my personal experience. However, these options are there for people who want to set up interesting ch uh, chases. In terms of that, uh, if you want to add barrier, you can add from here. So you can either add participant um, and you can change the position. Okay, so if you, um, and then if you want to add insert a location, you can add a location there. And uh, you can set that as a barrier. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can also set that as a hazard. So you can use all of this to automate that. And you can just use this to visually um, show the players what, what's going on. So um, this is a, an, an exciting feature to add it to the system. Well, hopefully um, uh, they, they are, this video is useful and assists with you when you are setting up chases in your game. Bye-bye. Yeah,